Hi students, in the last class we have discussed about the natural resources. Different types of natural resources, their importance and use. We have also discussed about the abiotic and biotic factors that form the important components of the natural resources. Today we shall discuss about the biogeochemical cycles. What are these biogeochemical cycles? The circular movement of ABOD components in the environment is called as the biogeochemical cycle. So it involves the living organisms, involves the earth. So there is a cycle of different components between the living organisms as well as the earth. First we shall discuss about the water. Water is a wonderful liquid. Without water, no life can exist on the surface of the planet Earth. 75% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. There are various forms of water. We have fresh water. This fresh water is seen in water bodies such as lakes, ponds, rivers. We have saline water that is seen in oceans as well as seas. There are other waters which are frozen on the top of the hills and mountains, maybe on the polar region, they, those are called the freezed waters or frozen waters. Then about the importance of water, water is responsible for diversities of plant and animal life. Water is responsible for different cellular activities in the living body. Water is also playing a very important role in the transportation of nutrients and waste in the body of all living organisms including human beings. And also it is responsible for survival of all living organisms. So as a whole, water is very very important to each and every living organism. Now we shall discuss about the water cycle. How the water moves? What is the cyclic pathway of water? Water bodies such as lakes, rivers, ponds, when sunlight falls on these water bodies, water gets heated and the water evaporates. And this water when evaporates, it goes on the top layer of the atmosphere and floats at the cloud. When the cloud cools down, Again, the vapor is converted to water form or liquid form that again comes down to the earth surface that is called as the rain. So there is a cyclic pathway between evaporation and condensation that makes the water cycle. We will make a small experiment for the water cycle. Though we get a plenty of rainfall every year, but still there is a shortage of water because of overconsumption and wrong consumption because of industries, because of increase in human population, because of construction. So a lot of water is consumed. So slowly there is a shortage of water. So to meet the demand, we have to make enough supply. So everybody is encouraged to go for water harvesting so that they can catch the rainwater and store it somewhere, either above the soil surface or under the soil surface, so that water can be utilized as and when we need. Because of industries, lot of waste are coming, they are going into the water and water is getting polluted. See, the industrial influence not only toxic to animals surviving in the, or growing in the water, but also they are toxic to the human beings. Besides this agricultural waste, besides this industrial waste, the agriculture, we produce a lot of pesticides and insecticides which are washed into the water bodies and water gets polluted. Further, even in our domestic use, we throw a lot of waste in the sewage, through the sewage, and it goes to the water body and water gets polluted. 
So we should be careful, not only conserving, not only storing, but also reducing the pollution in the water bodies. Now we shall come to the geochemical cycle of oxygen. We know that oxygen is very important for us, for survival of all living organisms. In the atmosphere, there are about 21% of the air is oxygen. This oxygen is available also in the form of different oxides on the surface of the earth crust, like nitrous oxide, nitric oxide, oxides of sulfur, and oxides of carbon. So they are also available. Forever, this oxygen forms a major component in our biomolecules, like carbohydrate, like amino acids, like proteins, and nucleic acids, so they form a very big component of our biomolecules in our body. So oxygen is very important to us. Without this, there can be no oxygen, our food cannot be oxidized, and we cannot get energy. So the cycle, you are finding that atmospheric oxygen, when it goes, to the human body in the process of respiration, it produces carbon dioxide and also produces water. This carbon dioxide and water, when they unite, again in the process of photosynthesis, they produce the carbohydrate or the sugar molecules. So when sugar molecule again breaks, they produce the carbon dioxide and so the cycle goes on. So this is very important. So this is very important, so the oxygen level is maintained in the environment. However, because of burning of materials, a lot of oxygen is consumed when we burn many of our materials or there is fire in the environment or there is fire in the forest. So a lot of oxygen is consumed and a lot of carbon dioxide are produced. So this oxygen is also stored in form of various nitrogenous compounds which take important part in the nitrogen cycle. Now we shall come to the carbon cycle. You know, carbon dioxide amount in the air is very low. It is about 0.00% .00 of the total air. This carbon dioxide is available in the earth crust like carbonates. And also, it is stored in many animals in the ocean and their cells as carbonates. Moreover, carbon forms an important compound in biomolecules like a carbohydrate, maybe proteins, maybe nucleic acids, maybe amino acids. Moreover, they are stored in different forms in the form of soil. So carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, it comes to the, forms the organic compound through the process of photosynthesis and comes to the plant. When the plants are eaten by the animals, it comes to the animals. Again, when the animals undertake the process of respiration, oxygen combines with the organic molecules and carbon dioxide is reduced made available into the atmosphere. Sometimes this carbon dioxide is stored in forms of limestones or carbonates in the water or on the surface. Sometimes this carbon dioxide or the carbon molecules are stored in the form of coal, sometimes in the form of fossil fuels like petroleum, and sometimes inorganic carbonates in the cells of the animals in the oceans. So there is a cyclic pathway. As you see, the carbon dioxide is moving in the environment. But because of excessive burning, excessive cooking, and also transportation, a lot of carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide concentration is increasing in the atmosphere. That is causing the greenhouse effect. So this carbon dioxide forming a blanket-like structure just above the earth surface and that trapping the solar energy and increasing the temperature. 
दिस इज कॉल द ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट दर इज ए चेंज इन द क्लाइमेट आवर टेम्परेचर इज राइजिंग एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज अकरिंग सो नेचुरल वी हैव टू सी दैट हाउ आवर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड इन एटमोस्फियर सो दैट वी कैन रिड्यूस द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द क्लाइमेट चेंज इन द कमिंग डेज नेक्स्ट वी शैल कम टू द नाइट्रोजन साइकिल बिफोर कमिंग टू द नाइट्रोजन साइकिल द सेम कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड साइकिल कार्बन साइकिल आई कैन से हैज बीन शोन इन ए पिक्चरल फॉर्म प्लांट्स आर थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस दे आर यूटिलाइजिंग द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड द थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन दे आर रिलीजिंग द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड द एनिमल्स आर इटिंग ऑन द प्लांट्स थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन दे आर ऑल्सो रिलीजिंग द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड द साइकिल has been shown and the principle has been shown in the earlier slide so nitrogen nitrogen is very high amount in the air it is about 78% of the air is in nitrogen besides it is in nitrogen nitrogen molecular nitrogen in the air there are various nitrogen compounds in the soil in the air maybe nitrate may be nitrate may be ammonium all they are in the soil and nitrogen forms very important compound of protein nucleic acids amino acids etc so without nitrogen no growth can occur in any living organisms though there is a large amount of nitrogen in the air unfortunately we are not able to catch the nitrogen from the air nitrogen can be assimilated by only some microorganisms like bacteria and blue green algae they accept the nitrogen they accept they absorb the nitrogen and form it into nitrogenous compounds that is known as the that is known as the nitrogen fixation so they catch the nitrogen of the air and fix it in the soil so that plants can absorb so from the plants the nitrogen or the nitrogenous compounds move to the animal so in animal eat on the plants the plant protein moves into the animal body so when plant and animal they die so their body gets decomposed and the ammonium or the ammonia is produced so ammonia gets oxidized and forms the nitrate from the nitrite again nitrate is produced so this nitrate can again go to the plants or when nitrate breaks down it called it is known as the denitrification so the nitrate breaks down into molecular nitrogen that is called the denitrification so through denitrification nitrogen goes into the air so the cyclic process is maintained besides this natural process sometimes through a biological process such as thunder and lightning nitrogen of the air combines with oxygen to form nit nitrous oxides these nitrous oxides they are going into the soil and may be utilized by the plants and help in the nitrogen metabolism sometimes nitrous oxide comes with the contact with the oxygen forms the nitrous or nitric acid they also damage many of our Mm, buildings many of our monuments so nitrogen is very important to us so we have to see that how nitrogen amount can be maintained in the uh, air so that it can be useful the same thing has been shown in a pictorial form how nitrogen is fixed by the microorganisms into nitrogenous compounds nitrogenous compounds are absorbed by the plants from plant the nitrogenous compounds goes to the animals when they decompose both plants and animals their dead bodies produce the ammonium from ammonium again nitrate 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 goes into the plants again or through denitrification the nitrate breaks down and nitrogen come into the atmosphere so the cyclic process is maintained so like this not only carbon oxygen or nitrogen many 
many elements like phosphorus or sulfur they also move in a cyclic pathway and so that their amount their content is maintained in the atmosphere so these biogeochemical cycles play a very important role maintaining a balance of elements in the atmosphere or in the environment now we shall come to some questions on the topic we have discussed first what are the two basic principles behind water cycle what are the two basic principles behind water cycle answer one is evaporation second one is condensation during evaporation water is converted into vapor form and in condensation water vapor is converted back into liquid form so evaporation and condensation are two basic principles that play important role in water cycle how oxygen is produced oxygen is produced through the process of photosynthesis in green plants plants take carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen in the process so green plants have the only potentiality to produce oxygen through the process of photosynthesis among all the living organisms on the surface of the planet earth what is biogeochemical cycle answer biogeochemical cycle is a cyclic process responsible for maintaining balance between different components in the biosphere examples are carbon cycle and nitrogen cycle what is nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation is the conversion of molecular nitrogen of the air into nitrogenous compounds and putting it into the soil is known as nitrogen fixation it could be through biotic or abiotic means why nitrogen is important to us nitrogen forms an important component of proteins amino acids and vitamins in animal body as well as in human beings we have discussed about the water cycle now we shall see how this water cycle works so this is a spirit lamp so i am lighting this spirit lamp so i am putting this tripod stand above this spirit lamp so this is a beaker this is wire gauze i am putting it here so there is a beaker i am putting some water into this beaker imagine this beaker is like a pond just like there is fresh water in the pond this beaker some pond water is there now when it is heated the water becomes swarm just like when sunlight falls on the water body in lakes ponds or rivers or oceans and seas the water gets heated so when it gets heated the water gets heated the water will evaporate it comes from the liquid water form into the vapor form so let us see how this is getting evaporated and vapors are being formed so it is getting warmed within very few minutes we will find vapors coming from this water
it is getting warm slowly just like sunlight falls on the water body slowly water body gets heated so now this water in the beaker is slowly getting heated जल स्लोली द वाटर गेटिंग वार्म सो व्वेन हैंडलिंग दि हट वाटर दि वार्म वाटर you should be very careful that it doesn't fall on your skin and also there is a spirit lamp here so carefully you have to use the spirit lamp otherwise it may catch fire so water is getting warm
देखा से कौन से गरम तो हेले सीना हम से गैस है कि सरंधा नहीं भर लगुच गरम हो आस काटिकी जइन कर गरम हल्ला लगे ना कागज की सोल फल टेस्ट देखो ना टेस्ट बड़बड़ी पानी कोड़ू है ना को ना वाक्स टा अच्छा वाक्स वाला तालू वाला अभी तो पच्चीस तो कोई तो ले उठ लें देखो ना जी गया मैंने नहीं आ उठ लें सर नियत तो से साइड तो चल ले उड़ी उड़ी चल ले बोले ऐसे लगी सी कोड़ को देख ले अस्तर थर्म कोल्ड टेकर दें सर उसे दे सारे पढ़े लगे सी उसे दे फिर कॉपर टाइम पे उधर कोड़ा टाइम क्या हुआ मेरे पास से ठीक है बस इधर आप ले लो उसे एक ना ए ए साइड टा ठीक है ना तो यूड़ा तो सीधा सीधा नहीं बाहर से के बेसी पानी अल्प पान दे भल बेसी दे थे या है या इतना नहीं है नहीं है वाव नहीं ना उठलाएंगे बड़ा बड़ा आस्ता आस्ता 
आपनर पास्ता छटा जा रोज ना कटक रो आसु ना भुवनेश्वर रो मो भुवनेश्वर रो छे से कटक रो आसु आ जण को कटक आसु नते जो तांगो हम टेस्ट एंतर से छटा छटा मोर लगे रेने तार पर ट If any water vapor comes out and gets deposited under the surface of the this petri dish, so whatever water vapor is coming, it's getting deposited on the under surface of the petri dish, just like. The water vapor from water bodies such as lakes, rivers, ponds, oceans goes and to the top of the air and forms a cloud. So now this water vapor is getting deposited here, just like forming a cloud. So this is called the evaporation. The water is getting evaporated from the surface of the water body into the air. This is called the evaporation. You see the water vapor slowly getting deposited on the under surface of the petri dish. So when the vapor gets deposited, it slowly get condensed into the water molecules. So vapor becomes water molecules. So liquid becomes vapor through the process of evaporation. and from evaporated vapor it again becomes a liquid through the process of condensation so evaporation and condensation are two basic principles of the water cycle that happens in the nature we see in day to day life now if you see if you take out this petri dishes with the help of a uh, cloth ने भी खा ली सो सिंस इट इज वेरी हॉट द पेट्री डिश इज वेरी हॉट आई एम टेकिंग द हेल्प ऑफ ए क्लॉथ पीस टू सी सो नाउ यू सी द वाटर हैज डिपोजिटेड ऑन द अंडर सरफेस ऑफ द पेट्री डिश दिस वाटर इज कमिंग आउट एज ड्रॉप बाय ड्रॉप यू सी दिस इज कमिंग आउट एज ड्रॉप बाय ड्रॉप इफ यू पुट फॉर मोर टाइम देर विल बी मोर वाटर वेपर गेटिंग कॉन्डेंस इन टू द लिक्विड फॉर्म कंडेंसर के लिक्विड फॉर्म में देखा जाता है आप लोग इधर कोई पहले एजेंट का 
So now you see when the water is getting heated and getting boiled, it gets evaporated and also gets deposited on the inner side of the beaker. The inner side of the beaker, the water is getting deposited from vapor form into the liquid form. So now if I take this petri dish, you will find water is coming out drop by drop. This is through the process of condensation. So water, whatever has gone to the cloud, again the cloud comes as a rain. So how this is how the water cycle works or operates in nature. Hello? Bankar Devi? Being deposited on the inner side of the petridix as water droplets. This is because of condensation. So now if I take out this petridix carefully, I will find, you may find that water droplets are coming drop by drop and falling on the water body again back. This is the principle of water cycle. Hella? What take on the drop? Hella? Thank you.